hi guys welcome back to my channel today is uh, the first um plan with me in my teacher planner um and but before we can get into that plan with you guys i want to set some goals so let's start with um classroom setup and i'm going to use um one of my pages let's go ahead and get into this video so i have opened up my teacher planner um to the back where i placed some notebook pages and i'm gonna pop out one sheet to use for my um project okay so the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and think about what i have going on in my classroom already so for sure i know that there's a lot of organization that needs to happen um and some cleaning okay, needs to happen so, um, to as well as cleaning, some um, school, i really want a project page um one that is um, the list that I go back to every single time that I need to check on uh, my progress. So I decided to use this notebook paper and my colorful boxes sticker book to create that page for myself. So the first thing that I'm going to do is grab these smaller boxes. I realized that that longer box that I showed you just a few minutes ago would not work, but these smaller boxes would be great because I'm going to um, put my classroom into four levels um, of work for me to do. And I feel like by breaking down this huge task of a new classroom um, into smaller pieces, it makes it easier for me to do. Because in the last um, three years, I have um, changed classrooms three times. It was, this will be the third. And I know it is a very daunting task and it's very hard to accomplish. And if I don't go in with the plan, I'm not going to be as successful as I want to be. I'm not going to be able to still enjoy the remainder of my summer. And I also won't be able to um, be stress-free. So what I'm doing now is just putting the seafoam green um, smaller labels from the same colorful boxes sticker book on top to label each one of those parts. And I love the color. Um, that's starting to be one of my favorite colors and I like the way it pops against the black with the yellow in the background so then I went into my student sticker book from the new line and I grabbed a couple of things for motivation um, who are we kidding life happens coffee helps is definitely a mantra for a while <laughs> for me and then I also grabbed this work hard sticker because number one I mean, it applies. And number two, it has those beautiful colors in the background. So I definitely wanted to use that as well. And so the last um, two pieces of this page for myself is going to be creating a checklist. So I need a master list of things that I need to do. And if you watch my videos from last year when I set up my classroom, I did a master list on one page and I had to keep referencing that page, but it was in an actual um weekly layout so this time I wanted to create a separate page that I can just um, pull out whenever I am planning I don't have to flip back and forth um, and so then I also flip through I wanted to make sure that my checklist matched so I had to flip through my everyday plan sticker book to find my other section of these um, but you cannot do without checklists so now that I have two lists and my I'll probably end up using the back toward the middle of um, July to fill out a new um, goal sheet just because um, I think that as I get into my classroom and start actually planning and working I'm going to see some things that I missed so these are just the things that I know right now so what you see here is is my paper mate flare um, in the fine point in that beautiful um, sea foam greenish color or teal I guess you could say it's a little mixture to me I don't really see teal so much as I see green um, but I'm going to use that in my monthly so instead I am using this pilot g2 and it kind of smears a little bit but I still like it so on my checklist, I'm writing math manipulatives, reading books for myself and my students, um, the cabinets near the door, and then I have a set of very low cabinets as well, um, painting my bookshelves, painting um, my mailboxes, creating a word wall, doing a number line, an alphabet line as well, um, a meeting area for my students, a student area, 
a teacher area as well. So now I'm going to take all of those and place it into four categories. So the first category that I have um, is cosmetic. And I know you're thinking, okay, you want your classroom to be functional, but I feel like getting those bigger projects out of the way just helps me to stay motivated to um and I get so frustrated toward the end. So I chose cosmetic first. And so when I go into my classroom this first week, it's going to be all about spray painting um, and getting things done as far as this cosmetic things and then start cleaning out everything. I think it serves an amazing um, to be an amazing booster when you have gotten the big things out of the way, like painting okay so my second one is all about organization um my classrooms in the past have had organization systems that kind of failed mid-year so this year i am working on organization by subject because i'm going to be teaching all of them so i also have a teacher organization reading math organization and one that i did not write down was student i will do that um, as well and then my setup is going to be student area teacher area um, small group and center areas. Um, those are the four focus areas in my class. And then finally, um, the things for decoration and my walls are bulletin boards, my number line, alphabets line, my word walk. I'm going to do two, one for math and one for reading. And I'm going to do a birthday board and um, a calendar setup. Okay, so now that I have that sheet out of the way, um, the next thing I'm going to do is kind of transfer these over into a monthly view for myself. So as you guys know, I put in an extension pack of the trendsetter just one month um, so that I can actually um, get my planner laid out the way that I want it to look. And I did not want to use um, any of my months that I have for um actual lesson planning. So I am going to um, change up some things about this. So I'm going to go ahead and pop out those pages. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I love the trendsetter. It, it has been really great to me on so many levels. However, um, for this instance, I don't need the inside of these pages. I don't need a habit tracker. I don't need an additional checklist. I don't need any of that. So I'm going to use my tape runner to tape these two pages together. I don't want to create more work for me because um, I feel like I have to because I don't. And it's not necessary for this project. So I'm not going to use it. So all I'm going to do is tape those two together so that when I flip the page, it'll all be connected. So now we're ready to add on what we have going on for the Originally, month. I so the the first thing I know I want to do is I want to paint. That's the first thing I want to do because it's the one thing I dread the most. So I'm going to paint. And while that is drying, I want to work on my math organization. And I also want to label my walls. Okay. Um... I'm still going to be working on math organization, I'm sure, on Tuesday because I am limiting the amount of time I'm staying. And I'm going to start on reading. And then I'm going to finish up my reading organization on Wednesday. And I am not going to school on Thursday and Friday. It's my 30th birthday, so I'm definitely not going to be spending it working. So I'm just going to use some washi to kind of block that off. And I do have a um, exacto knife for your um, finger, but I cannot put my hands on it right now, so going to use this one 
Um, and I'm also not going to be working on the 27th. I'll be out of town. I'm going to block that off as well. Okay. So those are the days that I'm going to be off. And I know, guys, it's very hard for you to see that color, but it's so pretty. Um, so I'm going to be working on painting, mass organization, and labeling my walls and reorganization. But the one thing that I skipped was cleaning, and that's a priority. So what may happen is all of this may shift. I'm definitely going to do my painting, my cleaning, and my labeling. And so I may be working on math organization and reading organization up until that next week. So I'm going to put reading organization here with a little star. Because I may not need to, and then I might. So a little star there. Okay, so by that time, I should be done um, painting everything. I should be done with the organization. So then I'm ready. I want to set up my student desk. So desk next. And then I want to work on center space on that day, as well as my teacher area. And as you can see, I'm not even decorating in my room yet. I'm just focusing on setting it up first. Um, and now, once I have done all that, then I'm ready to do bulletin boards. So I'm going to work on bulletin boards this whole day. And I'm also going to, I'm going to still be working on bulletin boards, I'm sure. So it's a two-day thing. And then I want to work on my window space. And I want to start on my library. Because even though I don't have that on there, I know I need to do it. So I want to be done with my room this week. So I only have about four days to like really get in there and work. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is decor so I'm going to be working on ceiling work and walls I'm going to do my outside bulletin board I'm going to put a little star beside it because I may go ahead and do that one here so I'm not going to put it here and my door and I'm going to do the final pieces on this day. So then that will leave me these two days to set up for um, back to school, meet the teacher. And then I'm going to do the same thing, meet the teacher. set up. So as you can see, I have this entire month covered. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm ready to create a few checklists. So <laughs>to continue to use it though so I won't just um, put a few labels and move on so you're gonna see this sheet often until I finish it up so I'm gonna pull out my mini basics because I need those numbers out of the front all right so I'm gonna use oh, the night Ten and eleven is already taken, so I'm going to use ten and eleven here. So I am going to paint, and we're going to do that in white. 
and I'm going to clean out all areas. Um, pile questionable things, trash other things, and heap. So that's how I'm going to separate those. Um, I'm going to label walls and measure them and I am going to um, work on my math manipulative and math curriculum. So if I still need to clean, I'll be doing cleaning on this day. And this pen is smudging a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's definitely smudging a little bit. So you want to be careful with this one, and this is the Pilot G2. So I'm still going to be cleaning, um, and then I'm going to finish my math manipulatives. And label storage spaces. Decide on bin and then I'm going to work on reading organization. So I'm going to be cleaning on the next day. I'm going to do reading organization. And I'm going to place bins. New labels. And I just have reading, reading organization on there. Um, and then if I have time here, I'm going to go ahead and do my desk, if I have time. If not, it'll wait till Monday. Okay, so I have my checklist done, have all of this done. Um, by all means, do a little bit of decorating, guys, but I'm trying to streamline this as much as possible, um, because I want this to be functional. Um, but I am going to put just a little bit, um, just for motivation. Like this sticker here says, get it done. Put that here. Um, and make today great. I like it. And then I love this one that says today's plan. So I'm going to put that one here. Okay. Super simple. Okay, guys, so the last part of this video is going to be how I use my project sheets. today's date I'm going to put um, 7 9 because that's going to be the day that I'm going to be doing this um, and it's going to be classroom set up so for the overview you basically want to write out what it is that you're planning on doing so my overview is going to be assessing my classroom labeling areas, cleaning, planning, and organizing. 
I love the way this pen writes, but I hate the fact that it is um, smudging on my page. So I'm going to try the Signo um, Uniball pen. So planning step. So I'm going to pull out my alphabet sticker book. And I'm going to actually use um, this beautiful pink to kind of tie this all in. And I'm going to give myself three to four steps. I'm going to start with three. If I need a fourth one, I will place it. So I'm going to start with painting. So I have two bookshelves, one mailbox. Um, the second thing I want to do is assess the classroom. And mark space. Then I want to start organizing and then labeling with a sticky note. Okay, so the due date for all of these, I'm not going to actually use that. So what I'm going to do instead is put a little motivational quote there. start wishing and start doing and it's beautifully black <laughs> so it's it's very um it's going to really pop against this page because it's black so i love that um so my action steps are um i'm definitely going to need my um a dolly so so i need to get bookshelves outside get mailbox outside I need um, drop covers and white wood paint and then I need um, sticky notes And I want to clear out all cabinets. Guys, you got to mess it up before you can make it better. For me, that's how I work. I mess it all up, then I do it. And then I want to map out class design or layout. Start three piles, keep, trash, ask, and then I want to um, label where things go. And then I want to make a list to do at home. Okay, so this is how I'm going to use my project goals to actually complete things in my classroom. So like this project, even though it says start date 7-9, I want to be done by 7-11. So I'm going to actually go ahead and date one of these as 7-11-2018. So I'll know that this is the goal. I want to be done with all of these things at, at least by the 11th. Okay, guys, so that's going to wrap up this first 
playing with me and the um, behind the scenes of my classroom setup on Friday I will have a vlog loaded on this channel my very first one on how I am doing with this process so make sure you check that out keep God first in everything you do give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section below I try to respond to everyone and plan a classy and sassy life guys bye